Spectres of the Hollow Manor, unveiling the haunting legacy. In the heart of a sleepy town, shrouded by ancient trees and whispered legends, stood a mansion with a dark history. Locals referred to it simply as the Hollow Manor, a name that carried the weight of chilling tales and spectral rumors. For decades, the ominous structure had loomed on the edge of town, its imposing facade casting a perpetual shadow over the community. As the sun dipped below the horizon, its last rays cast an eerie glow upon the time-worn mansion. The air grew thick with a palpable sense of foreboding as the locals exchanged furtive glances, their hushed conversations betraying the shared belief that the hollow manor was haunted. The mansion's tragic tale began a century ago, when it was the residence of the affluent Holloway family. The patriarch, Reginald Holloway, was a prosperous merchant known for his cunning business acumen. However, the wealth he amassed was overshadowed by whispers of dealings with the occult and unsavory alliances that went beyond the mortal realm. Reginald's wife, Eleanor, was a woman of grace and beauty, yet there was a melancholy that clung to her like a specter. Their only child, a daughter named Isabella, was said to possess an otherworldly allure that attracted the attention of both the living and the dead. As the years passed, the hollow manor became a focal point of mysterious occurrences. Locals claimed to hear spectral whispers in the dead of night, and ethereal lights flickered through the mansion's darkened windows. The bravest dared venture into its halls, only to be met with the bone-chilling embrace of an unseen presence. One stormy night, the townsfolk awoke to the mournful wails that echoed from the hollow manor. A spectral fog blanketed the mansion, concealing it from prying eyes. By dawn, the once majestic structure had fallen into disrepair, its windows shattered, and its grandeur replaced by an air of desolation. The legend spoke of a tragedy that befell the Holloway family on that fateful night. Reginald, driven by a dark compulsion, had delved into forbidden rituals to secure his family's prosperity. The rituals, however, unleashed a malevolent force that claimed the lives of Eleanor and Isabella. As the tale goes, Eleanor's anguished spirit lingered in the hollow manor, forever searching for her lost daughter. The mansion itself became a vessel for the tormented souls of the departed, its halls haunted by the echoes of a once happy family, shattered by the consequences of their patriarch's unholy ambitions. Decades later, a renowned paranormal investigator named Samuel Harrow arrived in town. Fascinated by the supernatural, Harrow sought to unravel the mysteries of the hollow manor. Armed with an arsenal of ghost hunting equipment and a determination to expose the truth, he ventured into the decaying mansion. The townsfolk, a mix of curiosity and trepidation, watched as Harrow crossed the threshold of the hollow manor. The air grew still, and a spectral hush settled over the town as if the very essence of the mansion awaited the investigator's intrusion. Within the mansion's dilapidated halls, Harrow encountered a symphony of creaking floorboards and the rustle of phantom whispers. The walls seemed to pulse with unseen energy as he navigated the labyrinthine corridors, his senses on high alert. As he delved deeper, Harrow uncovered forgotten chambers adorned with relics from a bygone era. Dust-covered portraits stared down with vacant eyes, capturing the souls of a family trapped in perpetual sorrow. Each step he took resonated with the echo of long-lost footsteps, as if the spirits within sought to guide, or perhaps warn, him. 
In the heart of the hollow manor, Harrow discovered a room frozen in time. The walls were adorned with faded wallpaper, and a once grand piano stood as a silent witness to the tragedy that unfolded. It was in this room that he felt an undeniable presence, a spectral force that stirred the very air he breathed. As Harrow began to communicate with the other side, using his paranormal equipment, the air grew charged with an otherworldly energy. Unearthly whispers filled the room, recounting the sorrowful tale of the Holloway family. The investigator listened, captivated and haunted by the tragic narrative that unfolded before him. With each revelation, the mansion seemed to come alive. Shadowy figures danced in the periphery of Harrow's vision, and distant cries reverberated through the halls. The investigator's resolve was tested as he bore witness to the residual echoes of a family torn apart by supernatural forces. The climax of Harrow's investigation led him to the mansion's long-forgotten basement, a chamber that held the key to the Holloway family's demise. The air in the underground chamber was heavy with the scent of decay, and the flickering light of Harrow's lantern cast distorted shadows on the damp stone walls. In the dim glow, Harrow uncovered a long-forgotten altar, adorned with symbols of an occult nature. A tattered journal, the final testament of Reginald Holloway, lay open, chronicling the descent into madness that led to the tragic events within the Hollow Manor. As Harrow delved into the journal's pages, the basement seemed to pulsate with an ominous energy. The spirits of the Holloway family, their once glorious existence reduced to a spectral existence, encircled Harrow. The investigator felt the weight of their sorrow, their lingering grief reaching out to him across the veil between the living and the dead. In a moment of communion with the supernatural, Harrow became a vessel for the voices of the departed. The mansion's haunted history unfolded before him in a spectral tableau. The anguished cries of Eleanor, the haunting melodies played by Isabella on the piano, and the desperate pleas of Reginald seeking redemption for his unholy transgressions. As the veil between the worlds thinned, Harrow, guided by an otherworldly force, performed a ritual to release the spirits from their eternal torment. The mansion trembled as if in acknowledgement, and a blinding light enveloped the investigator. When the light subsided, the hollow manor stood in silent repose. The air, once thick with supernatural unrest, had lifted, leaving a sense of tranquility in its wake. The townsfolk, who had watched the investigator's journey from the periphery, felt an unspoken calm settle over their haunted town. In the aftermath of Harrow's investigation, the hollow manor underwent a transformation. The grandeur of its former self began to re-emerge from the shadows, as if the release of the trapped spirits allowed the mansion to reclaim a semblance of its former glory. The townsfolk, once burdened by the weight of spectral whispers, felt a renewed sense of peace. The haunted history of the hollow manor became a cautionary tale, a reminder of the consequences that lurked within the pursuit of forbidden knowledge. As for Samuel Harrow, he left Ravensbrook, having played a role in bringing closure to a chapter of supernatural sorrow. The hollow manor, though forever marked by its tragic past, stood as a testament to the resilience of those who dared to confront the unknown, and, in doing so, bring solace to the restless spirits that lingered in the shadows. 
Thank you for diving into the spine-chilling mysteries with Chills Unveiled. If you've enjoyed the eerie tales and creepy narratives that send shivers down your spine, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more hair-raising content. Hit that notification bell so you never miss an unveiling of the unknown. Join the community of thrill-seekers and let the darkness unfold. Subscribe now and let the nightmares continue.